Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Joey Dixon. We got a special guest on Joey Dixon TV today. State your name. He Charles the Fourth, FKA. And my co-host, Nano the motherfucking Commando. Dirty and we're going to get into this exclusive interview that nobody got has never seen before. Where was you born? When was you born? And what was going on there? Well, I was going up there. Uh, they caught it. Death got me out of Right. All the niggas they used to get shot, they died. Third Eyes Valley. Third Eyes Valley. Right. That's where I was born. And I came here like... I was born 522 I was saying by like Liverpool first. I'm right here in 765. What city is for that? Uh, San Diego, California, South Beach to be exact. Right, right, right. So uh, coming up, what was you into? Was you into sports? Was you into music? What was your thing? Hey man, to be honest, my first love was sports. Right, right. Track and field to be exact. Oh, was you like a 20 year or 100? Bro, I was a sprinter. So where you gonna school? I mean, people you know the environment, bro. So I went to every school in the same city. My brother, I went to theater. First of all, that's What school? That was, that was, that was, that was, no, y'all did. Thirty. Me, little dad, you, uh, most, uh, most, uh, the tall nigga that started the ESR. The other nigga. Uh, no, I just used to drag them niggas every week, faithfully. And then they start cheating and start getting niggas from eighth grade, eighth and ninth grade. Nando the championship, though. Nando was there. He was all, He started off the bench. He's the sixth man of the year. John Cena, Lamont, Wynell. Got it. Yes. 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 Well, first and foremost, it's like, that's my boy. My mom herself, like, she wasn't like, I can't say she's directly affiliated with the gang, but she was in blood. Like, she was frequented with me, Stein, Lincoln, right? So, therefore, I was between Bay Business of the Year and Bay Business of the Year, right? So, me being here, like, right across the street over here, like, Big T Barter, Little T Barter, Big Ben, and all that, right? Nana, like, like, she ran this whole block. Like, literally, she cooked for everybody. Right. Everybody, grandma. So, my mom be sleeping in the morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning, bro. I'm over here. Right. So the whole block is family oriented. Right. Right. So, right. y'all second and third generations. Uh, I brought, uh, like, I'm fourth generation, right. bro. Like, 100. Right. Right. So, 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 what you into now these days? What you up to? Family and my kids. Secondly, bro, it's like, we all not doing this thug shit, bro, right? But it's like, we all killing each other, right? It's like a black people killing black people. When does that stop, right? And it's like, bro, like, niggas mad at me, right? What you doing? Right. Niggas mad at me, bro, because I'm, I'm like, who's on this block right now? But it's a no street. street. Right, it's a no street, right? Ain't nobody over here, right? Everybody popping that gang shit. Right, but. Ain't no gang members over here right now, but us, ex-gang members, the, right? the block. I'm not a gang member no more, bro, right? right? right, right, right. But we got mariachi music playing up here, bro. It's we got a Mexican nigga right here, bro, right? Shout out to my dude, Joey. Do you, see how, do you see how they just opened the door for us, bro? Right, right, right. No. That's it, bro, so it's like. So what are, what, are you got, what are you looking forward to in the near future? You got any businesses, any business endeavors? Uh, uh, what are your future goals? Well, right, my main thing, my baby is, it's a non-profit called SD Boom, right? Say that again so they can hear you. S, S, D, Boom. Well, what's that about? San Diego Brothers Overcoming Oppression. Right? And our oppression, you get this block right here. Right. Right? right? Like, everything we do, bro, it got to do with this gang shit. Like how we take care of our family, bro. How we hustle, how we go to work. And that, and that adds context to how you. Versus, 
how it is now. Like, how, how did you transition from playing sports to training and then those things happen at the same time? Bro, uh, I would say, bro, I'm, I'm actually aggressive, right? So playing sports, I got to take them on my especially on the football field on that track. Right? I got to eat niggas up and laugh at them, right? So gang banging is secondary. That was my first thing. Even though it was around me, that's not the first thing I cared about. Really track and field. Yeah, so, I'm fighting, getting that win and shit. Uh, bro, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start with the same thing. I don't want to know. I'm Lincoln, bro. I'm all about identifying from Lincoln. That's the normal man. Yeah. He's a black man. You feel me? But he broke my record. Step two. He was wrong to me, right? But gang took his life too. Yeah. You feel me? I would have broke all you niggas' records if I didn't stop and start playing badminton. Well, oh, that's not true. That, that's, so that's when, when you're the security. <laughs> security. That's, that's my security. Get him out of here, bro. <laughs> when year were you breaking the records? 98, 99. MLK Black. They practice that more every day. Coach Henderson, oh, Monique oh, Henderson. Right. All them bro. Right. Like, Monique was bro, the Olympic, Olympic stars. Yeah. yeah. Bro, but I was on yeah. track to be Olympic. My family is at Henderson. She might be the lady. Yeah. I was balling with Adam Jones and all the niggas and uh, Dominique Lombard. We have a lot of star athletes that come from here and a lot of people who was even better than them that didn't make it. I made say, it though. Say for instance, right? There was something, right? My God. He lived in Lucina, right? He blew out his knee, bro. He was way better than Reggie Bush. He was faster. He was moving, he was shifting. No, he might have missed it. But he went to Phoenix after yeah. Right, but he went to San Jose, right? Red Bulls from USC, right there. Uh, there was some of the artists, need, right? Him with Deshaun Cunningham, bro. That was second and third fastest, right? That's the whole California. I was the first, right? But look, gang bang, in the body, gang bang took over, bro. So nigga, two years later, they was first and second fastest. I was like ten percent. I wasn't even third. So that was hungry. Now we really had like a future. I did, bro. I did, that was my love, You look like bro. you were in shape, too. Like, I'll burn a nigga right now, bro. I'm all a nigga up. I can go football. I don't know. We might have to get on the course. Yeah, you know, I'm good from 30. I, I, I'm playing right up from 30. From 30. That's, that's, that's back, back, back from when I'm going to only need 12, 5, yeah. 6. You ain't got to win the championship. Stop pulling up from 30. Yeah, I'm playing up 30 ball, feet, man. yeah. I'm going to defend you all the way down there. No, you're not even going to know when I get down and come down and ask Marty to fly. You know I was pulling up with you. Did you used to play in football? Bro. You know, I started out as running back. Right. Ray didn't come out. Bro, everybody had their money that I would have made great. Bro, who had the high GP on our team, bro? I remember you was a quarterback for a reason. Okay. Bro, I had the high GP on the ball, second highest, right? Oh, so you was a you know, smart timeout. dumb CJ, nigga. CJ had the highest. Uh, uh, uh. Full <coughs> back in line. He had the highest. Right, and I had the second, right, but... You talking about Canadian? Canadian. Canadian boy. What, what happened to him? He ended up going out of town. He, he was real fast. He was. He was fast for anybody, but he didn't know how to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know how to be a running back. He didn't know how to hit the hole. You know, what, what was your, uh, your favorite subject in school? I don't have to say it. Oh. So we could do like the uh, capital or item. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Low bitch. <laughs> that part. See, suggestions do you have for the youth and what good advice do you have moving forward for them to be great and be successful? Really, bro, it's not even about school. It's not about your parents, bro. It's about making your own decision, right? Because me growing up, I blame everything on how I grew up. I blame everything on my mom. Not having a dad, right? And a certain age where I became conscious, bro. Feel me? And I, I made all my own decisions. Rock chose to be a thug. I chose to do whatever I did. Right? So I just tell the kids, he's like, bro, just make the right decision. Like, whoever you are, bro, be that at heart. Like, you feel me? Like, yo, the next person next to you can't dictate your life, bro. Like, every man has their own faith. And, and to add some context to that, be smart enough to walk away because one bad decision can change your life if you got some good stuff on for yourself, right? What age and what year was it when you started getting uh, locked up in juvenile hall in Miami? Well, I started going to juvenile hall at 12. First time in juvenile hall, I stayed on this day, I was 12, right? 
Let's go, big O. Big O. The Buckeye State. You know my dad from Ohio State. Yeah, but Mike Wiley, bro. He grew up on Peter Pan. He went to Wanda Vista and went to fucking Ohio State Buckeye, right? So when he came home, he brought back all his appearance. And he gave that shit to us, right? So niggas thought when GFO was wearing that old hat with the at first. Bro, he was wearing that old hat with the he gave it to us, bro. Shit like that, bro. Everybody think everything is gang shit, bro. All this shit ain't gang shit, bro. Right, right. It's a different feel, especially since you're like coming from your neighborhood. Right. Made it out. She's successful. She's for the college thing around all that. Right. Buttons and shit. And then, be, and, then, and then play at a high level. Like, you look at me. Because if you're an Ohio State fan, you know about that horseshoe. So we're gonna give y'all some more in-depth analysis on my on my man, but we want to come back to the block, show y'all where it all started, right here on Benson, 765. Benson Avenue, nigga, not the nine, but the bottom. Like I'm not promoting it. It's bullshit. You feel me? <laughs> like we live our lives over this shit. We go to prison over this shit. At the end of the day, this where I'm from, bro. So I have to interview a question. What you love to do with your kids? What's your favorite activity? My, my second youngin' bro, like he's a computer nerd. You feel like, me? Yeah, so yeah. we get on Roblox, we go to Oculus, bro. Oh, we build houses, lock your so car when they got the Roblox in there. Like room. his favorite thing right now is to edit. Like he'll take anybody video, bro, and make it go up. Like, like that. Got you. Lit. What it do? What's up, Ochi? How much are those things right here? All these little kids getting cornuts and Pringles and shit. Let me get it. I got a dollar. Let me get a bag of sunflower seeds and some now ladies. Episode of my block. We just get those with credit from this one. Yeah. On the first, we going crazy. We want the we we want the chicharrones with the with the chamoy in it and all that. Yeah, nigga. come on. Nigga, the first, you might buy that little joint something. Like, yeah, I've been thinking about you all week. I'll get this little red now, lady, for you and shit. We go together now. You gonna circle yesterday now with that shit? The liquor show was smacking us, bro. You didn't have no one yet. When you had a nickel, let me get one of them. They gonna eat that nigga. He gonna eat that motherfucking red vine all the way to the bed. How much money you can get? And we're all the niggas that's supposed to be outside at. This is a long block right here. But they they scamming for the the popsicle now. What the nigga said? Thirteen bucks and a drop of blood. I got kids. He got kids. He got kids. He got kids. You got that. I got a bunch of sons. Yeah, yeah. Choo choo my son. <laughs> yeah. That's my son right there. Not this year, but that's my son right there. 
That's my cousin. I love that nigga to death. Pat that nigga in good health. You don't get to you don't get to do shit like this every day. We got my nigga Nando, the shit talker of the year. Tanny. Looking like he ready to go catch a shark. <laughs> yeah. I am the shark. <laughs> Watch out, nigga got a hook in his mouth and all that shit. Yeah, no, yeah. No, Sweating the grip. This is a thousand degree fresh up the Hawaii trip. You know, I was just like, okay, game two, Hawaii and Joey. Uh, Kevin Clark. You know what I mean? Aloha, Joey. Andrew Rich can't fuck with this. <laughs> this nigga should drop the 30 on him. Said, oh, yeah, the first one. Oh, Look. Me and Caitlyn used to date back in the day, so you know what I mean? That's why I got a little special connection with Caitlyn, man. So what she look like a uh, little bitch on the survival? Yeah, I'm getting some. A uh, snow cone, my guy. No, I want to, uh, I want a bomb pop. Let me get a bomb pop. You feel me? Nah, let me get a bomb pop. Colossal way. You can tell by how you got his shorts hiked up. He been on that shit. He be in the backyard with the kids like, yeah, you got to do it like this. You got to do it like this. They not like us. <laughs> Oh, you got pick. Oh, yeah, look at the boy. Dude. Man, shit, man. Podcast? We podcasting next? I still got my you. I still love my community. I still love my. Where are we at right now? Skyview. Whoa. Currently, Skyline Hill, Skyview Park. Back in the day when I was a youngin, Tip State Park. The station. Park. <laughs> you get in trouble, you know you're going right there. But we up out of here. Out of here. I love y'all, bro. I love no hate. Never ain't no hate in my heart at all. Period.